Good morning everyone. I am Logi Sheri, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see Unit 2, Nutrition for Sports and Fitness. So energy source for muscles, muscles use. In that we are going to discuss about glucose, fat, protein. So how they are utilizing their energy, how the muscles utilizing the energy uh, from the glucose, fat and protein. So first let us see what, how it is observing from glucose. So muscle tissues has been considered to be the major regulatory of the systematic glucose homeostasis and glucose is normally provides energy source for the tissues of the body and its uptake by the muscle requires a secretion of insulin and the initial step of the glucose utilization requires the transport of glucose into the cells and the and insulin receptors complex stimulates the cellular uptake of the glucose in well fed muscles contains a one percentage of weight as its glycogen and also the muscle glycogen is not directly available as the source of the blood glucose because muscles lacks the six uh, glucose six phosphatase and then fat so fat are the lowest source of the energy but the most efficient energy uh, efficient energy uh, so this gram of fat supplies uh, each gram of fat which is supplies the body with uh, about 9 kilocalories as we all familiar in that and because the fat uh, or such efficient form of energy uh, the body stores and any excess energy as a fat so this body deposits the excess fat in the abdomen and also under the skin to use whenever it is needed so the body may also deposit the excess of fat in the blood vessels with the on within the organs where it can block the blood flow and damage the organs and often causing the serious uh, disorders etc and then protein so the body needs the protein to maintain and replace the tissues to function and growth so protein is not usually used as energy however if the body is not getting the enough calories from other nutrients or uh, or the fat stored in the body so the protein is break down into the ketone bodies and to be used for the energy so if the protein is consumed than is needed the body breaks the protein down and store it in the composite fat so the body contains the larger amount of the protein the protein uh, main building block in the body is the primary component of the most cells for example uh, muscles connected tissues skins are the built of the protein next is the ATP so these ATP molecules can be recycled after every reaction. So ATP molecules provides energy for both the exogenic and the androgenic process. So ATP serves as an extracellular signaling molecule and act as a neurotransmitter in both central and periphery nervous system. Uh, it is only energy which can be directly uh, used for the uh, different metabolic processes. Other forms of the chemical energies need to be converted in the ATP before they can be so it plays an important role in the metabolism a life sustaining chemical reactions including the cellular division fermentation photosynthesis and aerobic respiration protein synthesis and photoposporylations endocytosis and mortality thank you